Today I want to show you a little trick I use for caption, putting actually watermarks on photographs that I don't have uh, in a particular program like Aperture or Lightroom. It's a quick and simple little way to get attribution of who took the photograph on the photograph itself so that if you post it out on the web or post, put it on your in, in an email um, there will be what is called a little watermark stating that you own this photograph typically it's copyright Daniel J Cox natural exposures.com for me and you can create anything you want for yourself to do that I'm gonna take you over to um, a program in the Apple ecosystem this is only for people who are using aperture or I'm sorry Apple doesn't work this is not a program for the Windows uh, environment but for those who own Apple, <clears throat> this is a very little known program that works really well and, and very quickly and fast and efficient. So first of all, you want to look in your Applications folder. In your Finder, you'll see Applications and you'll see the program called Preview. You can double click that, open it up, and then you can go to your images and bring them into Preview. Or you can just go to your images directly like I have over here on the left pane of the, of the screen and I do a right click, Open With, I click Preview, and up comes the images in Preview. So there's a little tool in preview that is not real obvious. If you go over here to the right hand corner, just across from the search bar, you'll see a little toolbox, a show markup toolbar, it says as I hover over it. I click on this and up come some tools in the left hand pane of the, of the uh, upper part of the window. The tool we're looking for is this little, this little icon here that has a T in it and a line around it and that's for text. We click on it and it will bring up text in the middle of the image itself. Now it always puts it here in the, in the middle, so if you're looking for it and you haven't found it, you want to look over there and find it. Now the, keep in mind the text is in black, so when I drag it down here to the black area, it's really difficult to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the little icon that says A, which is for your, for your fonts. I'm going to click on this and you can see that the fonts are in black, so we're going to create white. We're going to create the text in white. All right, now there's the text down here in white. So we can stretch this box out. I'm going to type in option G, option G key for copyright, Daniel J. Cox, forward slash natural, E-X-P-O-S-U-R-E-S dot -E com. Okay, it, it put it on two lines, so I just have to go up here. I'm going to correct this the lowercase c. I'm going to click on the box. The little blue arrows come up. I'm able to stretch it out and then make it all on one line. Okay, so let's say then I can move this anywhere I want. I can move it up here. I can move it in the middle. I can move it wherever I want. Typically I put it down in the lower part of the frame. Um, <clears throat> we're going to change the size of this a little bit. Let's change the font size. So I highlight them. Go back up to the fonts. It's at 25 point. I'm going to bring them down a little bit. There we go, and now they've come down, and maybe that's a little nicer size. I bring it up from the edge a, a bit, and you know, over from the right right edge and up from the bottom edge, and um, click outside the box. It leaves it there. Now, what you want to do, and this is very important, make sure you do a an export of this of this file. If you don't, it will put that. Uh, watermark on your original and I really suggest that you you make an original and then if you don't care that it gets this watermark and you don't want to use it in the future here these images I'm using in, for future uses and I don't really want the watermark on all of them so I'm gonna do an export if I do if I don't do export it's gonna save this watermark on top of this original TIFF file which is not what I want. <clears throat> okay, so and plus I want to export it as a JPEG. So I'm gonna hit export. <clears throat> we have an option to go down here, select JPEG. We will let's put it back in the folder that it was that it came from. Tommy Coates is a, a gentleman, uh, uh, native Inuit man in Barrow, Alaska, that was carving a, a piece of walrus ivory into a snowy owl, which is totally legitimate for them to do up there. They have the rights as subsistence um, hunters to use the all the parts of the animal that they take. And in this situation, walrus uh, ivory is, is totally um, acceptable and, 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 uh, and part of their culture. So I select JPEG, <coughs> excuse me. I click Save. 
And now if you go to that folder, let's go to that folder. Here in the folder is the JPEG of what we just did. Here's the original. We'll bring it up. It's got the watermark on it too. And we'll look at the JPEG and it has the watermark. So um, I'm going to take a look at this, J this, this, this TIFF and see if we can get rid of this because I don't want this on my TIFF. Take it off. save let's go back to our original oh, still got the text on there it's almost done a little bit of a tricky thing with with um, this tool so let's see if that did it it's gone okay so I made sure that I exported it as a as a JPEG so here's the JPEG with the what the watermark on it so that's all you do and it's it's simple effective easy to do especially once you've done it a couple times this is a great tool for people who are showing my work uh, in slideshows I work with a lot of scientists uh, under the umbrella of the Arctic documentary project that use these pictures sometimes they like to to crop the images and and that will crop the the watermark that we put on it uh, when it comes from our office so they now have a tool and a way to do this themselves uh, if they're not using a specific program like I said earlier either Aperture or Lightroom. Hope that helps you guys anybody out there that might be interested in watermarking their pictures without the a complete digital workflow program this is a fast and simple way to do it with Apple's preview. Thanks very much and stay tuned in the future for more tips and tricks.